Hello, this is a talk titled JSON Support in MariaDB, News, Non-News and the Bigger Picture. My name is Sergey Petronia, I am a MariaDB developer, so for me news means new code, non-news means old code. So we are going to talk about the new code in JSON Support in MariaDB as well as some of the code that's already there. Uh, the first topic is the JSON path. This is not news. Uh, there are multiple JSON functions in MariaDB already, and a lot of them accept JSON path expressions uh, as an argument. These are used to locate elements in JSON document. Uh, path language in MariaDB wasn't documented until recently. Perhaps some people thought that it's just follow.bar.buzz, what can be it's obvious, uh, <clears throat> but the reality is not that easy. Uh, if one searches for definition of JSON path on the web, you can find many different definitions, but the one that should be used with SQL language was defined in SQL 2016 in the section SQL JSON path language. So let's look at that in detail. Uh, and a, J a JSON path is a, uh, is a, if it starts with the mode. Uh, the mode can be either lux, which is the default that's used if it's not specified, or strict. Uh, then goes the dollar sign. Dollar sign denotes the context element. Uh, by default, it is the root of the JSON document, uh, but some functions may use other context elements. And then it is followed by multiple steps, which select the elements in the JSON document. Uh, the first kind of step is object member selection step. You can select a member by its name. For example, here there is a JSON object and you can select name, dot name, and you get the value MariaDB. Uh, you can select all members by specifying dot star and this produces a sequence of values of all uh, members of the array. In this case, MariaDB, followed by 10.5. Uh, strict mode requires that the context element is an object, and the, if the member name is specified, it must be present in the array, otherwise it is in the error. Lux mode uh, ignores missing elements, uh, unwraps one element array, and tries to avoid errors. Uh, the second kind of uh, uh, step is array element selection step. If the context is an array, then you can select one or several elements from it. You can use just use number. The numbers are zero based. So if you, you take element number zero, you get the first element in the array. You can specify a range. You can use the word last to specify you want the last element. You can use a comma separated list of any of the above, or you can specify all elements by using star. In this case, you will get a sequence of all elements in the array. Strict mode requires that indexes are within the bounds, uh, otherwise it's an error. Uh, with lax mode, there is no such restriction. Uh, after each step, uh, optionally, there can be a filter. Filter, uh, I mentioned that we get a sequence of elements and filter allows to filter out elements of the sequence. The syntax is uh, question mark and then predicate. Predicate can be a formula and it, it, it can be a logical and or formula which has comparisons uh, of constants and elements. It uses arithmetics. There are certain functions supported and you can refer to parameters pass it from outside. Uh, here is a basic example. We have a JSON document with two uh, with two objects. We, we, we select them both uh, by specifying that we want all members in the array, and then we want only those that have member color equals to black. And then we add another step, which is an I, which is select member named item, so we get just one value laptop here. <clears throat> I won't go into further detail with filters because neither MariaDB nor MySQL supports them. Yeah, let's switch to discussing what does MariaDB and MySQL support. They support only lax mode, 
I have actually discovered that even they are not fully compliant. Uh, well, then I discussed it especially with my ReadyDB developer who developed that feature. He said he was just following MySQL. MySQL market, this bug is verified, so at least they uh, pro perhaps they intended to be compliant. Uh, we, we, we don't know for certain, they don't say it in their documentation. Uh, object member selection is supported, it's the basics. For array selection, single uh, index is supported by both. MySQL also supports last and M to M. As I mentioned, filters are not supported. This uh, allowed it the, per the people who coded this to cut down a lot because they didn't need to support expressions and arithmetic of functions. On the other hand, this uh, quite reduces the, power, the expressive power of JSON path quite a bit. Uh, uh, there is, however, an extension supported, recursive search. Suppose we have a task to find certain no member uh, anywhere in the JSON document. Well, with SQL JSON path it's not possible, you need to specify the full path to where you want. So both MariaDB and MySQL uh, support an extension, wildcard search steps. If you use uh, double star uh, it will select all direct and indirect children of the current element and uh, then you can use uh, that, uh, you can add another step to select member of the array and this way you can find, for example, price, uh, element number price, name it price, anywhere in the JSON document. Uh, PostgreSQL also supports is, uh, this extension, but their syntax is dot star star so the syntax is different, but the semantics is the same. How is that useful? Well, one and the use that I'm using almost daily is optimizer trace. Optimizer trace is a JSON document. It's basically a log of query optimizer's actions. Uh, th this is a huge JSON document. It has recursive structure because SQL allows recursive constructs like subqueries, so we get the same kind of actions done at different levels. Uh, and uh, some of the actions done by the optimizer is uh, are done for each table. One of them is to estimate the number of rows in the table, rows estimations. Uh, so you can write a query like this, select, JSON detail it, it's just that formatting, JSON extract, and then dollar star star rows estimation. It finds you all rows estimation that were done for the tables used by the query. In the top level select and the subqueries everywhere. Uh, if filters were supported, we could we would be able to find um, row estimation for a specific table. Unfortunately, they are not, so we need to get them all and then just look ourselves. So for deeply nested JSON documents. Uh, uh, <coughs> wildcard search step is very useful. Summary. Uh, so the language for pointing to nodes in JSON document is called SQL JSON path language. It was introduced in SQL 2016. Both MariaDB and MySQL implement a subset. Uh, now it's now documented. Uh, Lux mode only, filters are not supported, which is unfortunate. Array indexing only supports uh, single uh, single integer index. Uh, and both MySQL and MariaDB have the same recursive search expression. That is good. Uh, as if you look at other databases, PostgreSQL seem to have the most compliant and feature-rich implementation. They support filtering, strict lux mode, and so forth. I'm not sure if they are fully compliant, but they seem to be. Other databases support different and often very restrictive subsets. So here, my SQL and MariaDB are quite competitive. Uh, the next topic I wanted to discuss is news. Uh, it's, it, it is JSON table feature. News because it is under development in MariaDB at the moment. Uh, JSON table is a table function. It takes a JSON input and converts it into a table. So unlike other functions used in the from clause. 
It was introduced in SQL 2016. It's supported in Oracle database in MySQL. Uh, it is under development in MariaDB. We are trying to get it into MariaDB 10.6. Uh, let's let's start with an example. We get a JSON document which is an array of two objects which have uh, the same elements. Uh, and suppose we want to uh, want to get that data in table or form. So we can call the JSON table function. We select star from JSON table. Then we specify which columns we want, and we get uh, we get it in the table or form. <coughs> uh, let's look at the uh, at the syntax for detail. Uh, select uh, star from JSON table. As I've mentioned, JSON table is a table function, so use it where you would use a table. Uh, the first argument is JSON doc is a source document. In this case, it's in a session variable, but it can be uh, in other places as well. Uh, the the second uh, uh, argument is a path to no JSON path to nodes to examine. This produces a sequence, and then each element of the sequence produces one uh, its own row. Uh, then go column definitions, and this is a, a bridge from uh, schemaless and typeless JSON into the highly typed world of SQL. This is schema on read, where you specify what schema we expect to get when we are getting the data from JSON. Uh, and here, we, here we, we specify paths where to get the values from. The context for these paths is the uh, node being examined. Uh, uh, it, if that was not complex enough, uh, it gets more complex. And nested paths are supported. Suppose we get uh, some uh, JSON document describing uh, describing some items, and they in turn have uh, some uh, arrays in them. How do we normalize this structure? Uh, JSON table has supports nested path syntax. So we first uh, specify that we will break the JSON document into uh, break the break the array into uh, a sequence of objects, and then inside object we specify that each uh, color will also produce its own row, and uh, the the output will be. Uh, no normalized uh, normalized form where the first object which describes a laptop uh, will produce three rows for one for each color and for the second for the shirt will get two rows one for each color as well uh, this allows to switch from nested structures to normalized form in a relational form Multiple nested paths are supported. You can nest nested paths, and one can have sibling nested paths. The standard allows uh, one to specify how they want to unnest the so-called plan clause. The default is outer join-like. So if you get an object which says name to shirt, which can be two colors and three sizes, we get the uh, all of the colors with size now, and we get all of the sizes with color being now. Uh, the plan clause allows to specify for cross join or some other variants how to normalize it into relational form. MySQL and soon MariaDB will only support outer join like unnesting, which is the default, which basically means we don't support the plan clause. Uh, another feature of JSON table is error handling. Uh, JSON is uh, doesn't have types, so one need to account for possible errors when, con when converting to relational form. And JSON table syntax allows to specify that you, after specifying path, you can specify action to do on empty, which is used when the JSON element uh, requested is missing, or on the error when there was the type conversion. You can produce a SQL null, you can use some default value, or you can just emit an error. Both MySQL and soon MariaDB support this. 
An important part uh, that JSON table can be used with joins. Let me explain what I mean by it. Suppose you've got a table orders, which and there are two rows describing two orders, and for each order you get a list of JSON document, a field with JSON document which describes uh, items in that order. How do I get that in relational form? Uh, you can write a query like so. You can write, you can take table orders, then join it with JSON table, and its argument will refer to table orders, which is not typically possible, uh, but with JSON table it allows it, and this way you will get normalized output. Uh, that is, JSON table can refer to other tables, and this produces lateral like semantics. Contents of JSON of the table produced by JSON table will depend on the parameter values. Uh, this is great to do normalization if you have some data in. If you have a table which has some data in JSON, you, you can normalize that data to SQL by doing join with JSON table function. Summary for JSON table. So it is a table function to convert JSON data to relational form. It has been introduced in SQL 2016. The standard specifies a lot of features. MySQLite implements a subset, in but in particular plan clause is not supported. In MariaDB it's under development. Uh, this is the Jira, Jira issue number. And we are going to implement a subset that's very close to what MySQL did. Uh, as for other databases, uh, let me quote a slide from Marcus Winant, which shows that basically only Oracle and MySQL supported. And now we're going to add MySQL. Well, I know that PostgreSQL have it under development. They had a patch posted on their mailing lists. I'm not sure why it's, what is, how much they have, work they have left to do. Uh, total takeaways is, uh, SQL 2016 introduced JSON support. MySQL has implemented a reasonably good subset of it with some uh, meaningful extensions. MariaDB is catching up to it and we include the extensions. Uh, another one more slide about low hanging fruits. As you saw, there are some missing features and I think uh, JSON is a very good uh, portion of code to start contributing to because it's fairly isolated from the rest of the code and it doesn't have a lot of legacy or compatibility concerns to care about. Uh, so low hanging fruits in my opinion would be to implement uh, last or end to M array indexing steps. Uh, a big and per 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 perhaps a bit higher hanging fruit is to add filtering support, but this would be very useful. Uh, much lower hanging fruit is to improve the JSON detailed function. JSON detailed function is a basically JSON pretty printer. It prints JSON in a readable form. It, this is very useful for development. This is also useful when debugging the optimizer tra because you can get the data from optimizer trace, do some processing, and then you need to pretty print it for viewing. That function works, but it's fairly dumb. So we would be glad to review and accept the contribution that would make it uh, produce more condensed output. All these are great ways to start contributing to MariaDB, so please contact us if you are interested. This concludes the talk, and now we can have a Q&A session. Thanks.